So this is what I do to pamper myself on a Sunday night. Now normally after I drum a roll, I use two masks and I cut one in half and I just go way down in my, my chest. I only, this is my last one of these and so I have to buy some more. Oh, it feels so good to have a mask. I just finished drum a rolling and I use Gin Amber's 0 0.5, is it 5 millimeter, a derma roller. I will link her, her channel in my description box. The more I use this derma roller and the more I compare it to my other derma rollers that I still have, the more I know that this quality is superb on this. So what I'm going to do is keep the mask on for 20 minutes. In the interim, I'm going to start with my hair. I'm going to derma roll my scalp. Yeah, so this is just sort of the beginning of my Sunday vlog. I just thought I'd catch up with you and start my vlog this week with what I do on a Sunday night. So we'll see what the week brings. I Happy Monday, guys. So I am getting ready to head out the door. Jay, like a good doobie, carried my um, briefcase into the car. But Today my skin is like really sore. I derma rolled last night and it still is tender. So all I have on my skin skin other than lipstick and eyes is I have my tinted sunblock on. That's about it. That's about all my skin can handle today. Yeah, that derma rolling last night. Mm-hmm. A little bit sore. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. I, I lost track of time. It's so Tuesday and... I'm just, this is sort of like a, a casual Friday on a Tuesday look for me. I have my little square band, headband, and you know what? I really, I need to get myself some more of these because I really like, especially as my hair is getting longer, the different ways I can kind of create my hair, I guess even on a messy hair day. So yeah, this is, um, I should have washed my hair, but I didn't. Um, you know, so this is definitely a messy hair day. But I wanted to show you my Apple Watch band. So I got this band. It's a replacement band on Amazon. I hope this picks up. Anyways, I, it's probably too dressy for a casual Tuesday, Friday look for the office. But I'm wearing it today. And I got it off of Amazon. It is an elastic kind of a stretchy band and it, it actually fits me perfectly although they did give you you know measurements for your wrist so if you have a really big wrist or whatever you know so you would have an idea but I really I like it you can't beat the price and so I kind of like like accessorizing my Apple watch a little bit so today's a really low-key day for me I've got a full day in the office but it's busy work I've got a couple of good two webinars that I'm taking today. I'm really, really super excited about the second webinar. Awesome, awesome. And then just prepping for a weekend review and stuff like that. So that's my day in a nutshell. So setting up the training room, we have a, it's complicated, but we have this brand new CMA presentation, a program that we're sort of like rolling out. And it's like unbelievably exciting to me because it brings seller services to the next level so i'm like so super psyched about this today we have 48 people in the room yeah so i'm just making sure the last minute things are set up for the room before the crowd begins <laughs> my gosh look how big it is i mean the lighthouse is a little tiny speck look how big that moon is that's like, in that's incredible. You look like it's the middle of winter time here. Yeah, I mean, it's only January 31st, and you know. So I switched cameras. Oh, you can see it's going behind the, uh, I really need a tripod for this, but, oh, that's too bad, but I'm glad we caught some of it. So it's Thursday. And we woke up to snow. The roads are icy. It's 20 some odd degrees out there. The sand has gone by and a little bit of a plow. There's not much snow on the ground, but the roads are crappy. And I'm going to Exeter. Here we go. I'm going to have another snowy ride, as you saw a little bit ago. I'm 
going to start the car up. Jay left a little while ago when he told me that some of the roads were really slippery to be careful, but he arrived safely in Portsmouth. I'm heading to Exeter where I'm going to spend the day and then tonight I've got a hairdresser's appointment. You know, the older I get, the quicker I have to touch up my my roots. Look at all my gray. So, um, yeah, so I'm going tonight. You know, maybe she'll just boost my trim a little bit, but um, she usually sometimes just trims off the dead ends because I am trying to grow it out, as you guys know. I don't know, you know, it's like all this gray hair. Nothing really covers it. I suppose I should be accepting the fact that you know, I'm going to be 64 and I'm going to have eventually my whole hair. My whole head is going to be gray. I wonder if I could just go gray. I mean, that would just totally freak Jay out. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's a thought, you know. I'm not going to act on it, though. But I, I, um, I wanted to show you my earrings. I usually, when I wear these earrings, oh, this is going to pick it up or not. But um, I love these earrings because it reflects off of really what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a black top. But if I was wearing a blue top, it would look a lot bluer. But on a sunny day, these earrings are amazing. They really, really are. I love them. I've had them for a while. I think I bought them last summer. It might be in one of my vlogs that I did over the summertime. But yeah, I, bought, I think I bought them last summer. They're just the type of earrings that make me happy. They put a smile on my face. So I'm also going to insert here a photo. Check this out. This is a photo Jay took. I'm telling you, the super moon or blue moon or full moon was incredible last night. We were at York Beach overlooking the lighthouse was at a distance. Normally we go up to the lighthouse, but we decided we were going to set up at York Beach and because we were running late because I had to work and by the time we get up there in Maine and all that. Anyways, long story short, we set up at York Beach and the the moon just started to pop right up. We didn't even have time to set it, at least I didn't. So Jay was out there, he got that shot, and, and I have never in my almost 64 years seen a moon that big next to that lighthouse. It dwarfs the lighthouse. Nubble Light looks like a little tiny little speck when Nubble Light is majestic and beautiful. So I did a couple of video clips, uh, you know, as I was trying to focus, I was switching lenses. I started out with my Canon, but I don't have zoom lens on my Canon, and then I switched to my Sony, and I put my zoom lens on my Sony, and I was able to um, get a little bit of a clearer shot, but that was our adventure last night, and it was like, it was so much fun. We are definitely moon chasers. I absolutely love chasing the moon. The agents in our Exeter office always deck out the display window. It's really amazing to see. Love it. Cool. It is my birthday month and I got a, I can choose two products from Sephora. I think I'm going to try the bite. And then of course, yeah, Ulta time. And then I got this in the mail. Um, this is from Influencer. This is really the first time I've gotten something in the mail from them. And... I'm really excited to try this. I, um, you know, I'm always a little concerned about the carbohydrate counts, and, and this is not that bad, but I figure, you know, I'm just gonna use it very sparingly. It's seven grams of carbs, but I'm gonna try it with a stir fry. And yeah, we'll see how that comes out. So yeah, it was kind of a surprise to get this. And then, <laughs> I am using the coffee cup that I got for Christmas from my niece with a bunch of Dunkin Donuts certificates as well into my Carrick. We, we lost our microwave so my counter is really bare until I get my new microwave. This is sort of like an empty spot. Hey guys, it is Super Bowl Sunday and it's like, it's an exciting day in the McGillicuddy household. So. But I'm heading to Ulta. Yeah, I'm heading to Ulta. So I am, you know, it's going to be a long day because I know Jay is like so super psyched about the game and 
and I'm gonna, I just figured I'd be safe to end my vlog by me going to Ulta. When I come back home, I might film a little bit of his reaction later tonight, and I'm hoping it's a happy reaction and not a sad reaction, but Jay is an awesome sports person. He, he has always believed that the best team will win, and he will root for the underdog, he'll root for whomever if he really believes in that team. So, of course, being in New England, we're rooting for the Patriots, but if they get beat, they get beat, and uh, Jay will be the type of guy that'll congratulate those, uh, the team that won, and the, their fans. So, he's always been like that. So, I'm going to have a shake. Now, I mentioned this, sorry for the shaky camera, I mentioned this in my uh, video that I had published that I got this free. This is Ample K. This is a keto shake. I mixed it up with water halfway, and then mixed the rest up, and shaking it really good. And it's supposed to hold my appetite. I will let you know, because I've not had breakfast. I fasted, and I'm breaking my fast now after an 18-hour fast. And um, and that's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to roast a turkey in the oven. So when I come home, that's what we'll have. I wanted to share with you just this little travel cosmetic bag. I bought it at TJ Maxx, and I want to take it on my trip. And I thought it might be absolutely perfect to hold my cosmetics. I'm so excited about that trip. I'm like a kid in a candy store. So some of you, I don't even know if I really included the clip, but I always have like my candles burning in the background. And some of you may remember that on one of my videos, my big purple candle popped and I'll show you what happened. Hold on. So this candle popped and I came in the bathroom and the flame was going way up and it was like freaking me. Whoops. And it was like freaking me out. And the, the, it had dripped all the way down and I left it here. I know you really can't see it that much, but can you see the, the wax build up? Anyways, it was really freaky when I came in the bathroom and I saw it. I haven't scraped it off. The wax is dried. I figured it'd be easier to clean, scraped off when it's dried. But it taught me a lesson that even if you think you have something that is like super, super sturdy, after a while, look at that, burnt right down. And who knows what would have happened had I not come in. I don't know, you know, maybe it would have, you know, attached to that thing and, and I don't know. Anyways, I caught it in time, but that is like my reminder of having to be careful. So happy Super Monday, guys. At least those folks in Philadelphia and maybe the entire nation for all I know, except for Patriot Nation in the New England area. So maybe a lot of people celebrating, but as you all know, in New England, we are rather quiet today, and I, um, I'm going to share with you a couple of clips of Jay last night watching the game. So, honey, what do you think? I don't know. The defense is what's letting them down. Yay, about time. Now the defense has to hold them. Yay! Patriots take the lead! Yay! <laughs> so is Brady not even on the field? He turned the ball over. He fumbled it, remember? That means he can't go back out and play? Not until they get the ball back. That might be next season. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, they'll get it back. They'll, Philadelphia's probably going to try to kick a field goal. Get down the pipe. 41 to 33. Miracle time. What the, the hell was that? That was the worst play. It was a good run. That's how you got to look at it. 36 seconds. You just can't win all the time, honey. Well, New England is quiet tonight. Hey, not bad going three. It's our third Super Bowl in four years. That's the game. And we did have high hopes until the very end. At least I did. But, you know, you can't complain because, you know, it's the best of the best that get to the Super Bowl. And we've been there many times. And we've lost before. And, um, and yeah, so, I mean, it's like really, I think it's an amazing accomplishment to get to the Super Bowl. And, and just to get to that, that opportunity and to play. I, um, I fail to understand, this is the one thing about sports I don't get, I fail to understand how when a team wins, and it's happened in New England as well, it's happened you know, in Boston, all over the place, but when a team wins, you should be happy. I don't, I don't get the destruction. I don't get the, you know, I don't know. I just don't get that you can you know, ruin people's property when your team wins. But whatever. Uh, congratulations to everyone who was rooting for Philadelphia. It was a game well played by them. 
So I just want to, before I head off, I know I was going to end this yesterday, but I just want to, because I had a lot of people ask me about the Ample K. If by the time I publish this video, I have a coupon code, I will insert it. They said they would give me a coupon code. They also talked about um, giving me an affiliate code, which I, I think maybe if someone buys it, I make some pennies. I'm not really too sure. So I'm not too sure if that's going to happen. I've never done that before. I have no idea. But this is day three. Uh, or the third time that I've actually had this drink. And I let Jay sample it yesterday. He wasn't a big fan of it. He thought it was rather blah. The whole point of this drink is it is not motivation in a bottle. What it is for me is that when I broke my fast yesterday, for example, after 18 hours, I drank this, the whole thing, and it is the equivalent of 600 calories. I will you know, give you the link so you can check out the nutritional information. But 600 calories, some carbohydrates, a lot of, in my opinion, good keto or keto friendly ingredients, and it's a meal replacement. So what it did for me after I broke my fast, I went all day, because I fast 18 hours and then I have a feeding period for six hours, but this was my lunch when I broke my fast, and this, this held me. Now, if I walk by a brownie and I just had to have that brownie, I need to recognize that I'm grabbing that brownie, not because I'm hungry, but because it tastes good, and maybe I want to satisfy a sweet craving, but a lot of that's going to be up here in my, in my head. And so I need to recognize that factor. So motivation in a bottle, no. What does it taste like? It doesn't taste like anything I can recognize. It doesn't taste bad to me. I've tasted bad drinks before that I, ooh, I won't drink it. It does not taste bad for me. For Jay, it was blah, but Jay makes his protein drinks with a ton of fruit in it. So his protein drinks is all sugar, a lot of sugar in it. So this has no sugar. And, um, but it did hold my appetite and that's, what was impressive for me. I mean, when I came home, Jay was eating snacks. I didn't touch any of them. So recognizing the triggers. Am I eating because I just want to grab this and eat or am I hungry? Motivation in a bottle, no. But if you know your triggers and you just need a little bit of an oomph to get you through the day with healthy calories, or at least in my perception, healthy calories, this might be the way to go. So, so far it's, it's working out uh, for me. And um, yeah, so that's, now I'm definitely gonna end my, ve my weekly vlog. I think I cut my face off again. I don't know why I'm doing that lately. But, um, so now I'm gonna end it. I'm heading to work. I hope you all have a great work week and congratulations to Philadelphia and all their fans. And now football's over for us. My poor husband. Bye guys.